Hey again, everybody. Welcome back to this blind playthrough of Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, I discovered the Belfry Luna and got my ass kicked by a whole bunch of gargoyles, but eventually took them out, so... Now I don't know where else to go, because I'm out of Ferris's Lockstones. So, I guess I'm going to continue talking to various NPCs and see if I can't find if anybody opens up a new way for me to go. I would also really like to get my hands on one of those unpetrification items so I can get past that one statue lady. White Hollow Mage Robe. Robe worn by Hollowed... Oh, Cleric Sacred Chime. Most clerics receive this as their first sacred chime. That's right. I'm here in Majula. Bearer of the sea, sea, less. All right. So I can give myself one level. Where is it going to be? Up oh, my f there. Increase my health and stamina. Alright. Tongue required ahead and then thrust. Apparently there's an attractive woman around. Whatever. Ugh. I'm still wondering where Lucatiel has gone to. That's something I would very much like to know. Oh well, let's get ourselves to the Tower of Flame. Let's see this thing. This has got to be something. Contraption does not move. This... That's got to be important. Wait, why am I walking this distance? Shoot, I probably could have just warped there. That's right, there are two people I can talk to in the Tower of Flame area. One of them is the guy in the Cathedral of Blue. One of them is the woman in the tower. Hopefully one of them will help me on my way. Okay, nearly out of the loading zone. Hyde's Tower of Flame. There's the bonfire. I actually think that, uh... Both of the NPCs I can talk to are near bonfires. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Cathedral of Blue, first off. Bloodied Whip. A blood-stained whip. A tool made for a purpose forbidden by the gods. Its effect is augmented by its pointed tip, but still only marginally effective against Robble Robble. Illusion ahead. One of you alls has to be an illusion. Arena ahead. Arena ahead. Bonfire. You're still... You're all fairly solid. Okay. All of you message leavers are assholes. Do you not realize that you are preventing me from getting into the stupid wall? Maybe you do, and you're doing it on purpose, because you hate me. Ah, whatever. Let's talk to the bro. A transient being. Nothing has changed. You would never make a knight of the blue, and I have nothing more to say. Be gone. You are not needed. Do. What do you want me to do? What stat am I supposed to level up? 
Yeah. Oh, that was a waste. Goddamn people completely ruining the stupid illusory walls. Illusion ahead. Try attacking, then be wary of equipment breakage. I have no idea what this is about. So screw it. I'm gonna go to the Tower of Flame now. Off we go! Ferris's Lockstone. Stone activating a creation of Ferris the Vagabond. Ferris the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the land, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide. Oh, there you are. That took me a minute. Read message. Visions of thrust. God, you people. Just speak up if you're in need of miracles. That's why I'm here, after all. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is... Well... I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings-on, I'll have to move soon. To a place I could gull the... Sorry. Help the gullible by teaching the good word. <laughs> I expected that... With a... To a... Sorry. Alright, you know what? What do you have for sale? Clearing sacred time. Ring of prayer increases faith. And a whole lot of stuff. I expect. Eh, whatever. I Damn expect it, no. no need for miracle. The gods. Fr eh, whatever. Oh, hey. She has vanished. I guess I exhausted her dialogue, and now I guess I'm going to find her in Majula. Well, let's head back. Claws. A, wearer that it, a weapon that attaches to the hands. The wearer attacks in a scratching motion with these three pronged claws. Claws inflict deep wounds and cause bleeding. Crimson Parma. A standard wooden Parma. Hey, you. Okay, so where has this woman gone to? Miracles ahead. 40 million deaths worldwide. Quite something. Yes, it is quite something. Still nothing here. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Think carefully. I think I'll go this way. Okay, so... Woman ahead. But in which direction? Where have you shown up, lady? Oh, there's the old hag. Maybe in one of the houses, but probably not. But it's worth checking out. I need to check out this cat again. What are you selling? I didn't pay enough attention. Hello? Oh. Who are you again? 
<laughs> oh, I'm not serious. You do have a rather pleasant scent. The type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> Covenants. I'm in the Bellkeeper Covenant. What do you sell? Ring of the Evil Eye. The silver Cat Ring reduces damage from falling. That could be useful. Easier to be detected by enemies. That'll make my life harder. The name engraved ring. Easier to connect to players who chose the same god. And the Ring of Whispers can hear the voices of foes. Silver Cat Ring seems like something I could use. Nothing suited you. Well, that could make me. Whoa! Careful. Try, try ring. Oh, okay. So put on the Silver Cat Ring, and then drop down into the pit. So that's the deal. That makes sense, that's clever. Lesser foe ahead. Nothing over this way. This house is still locked. And anybody new here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Do you have any gargoyle stuff? Oh, hello again. Doesn't seem All like right. it. Oh, goddamn pigs. Come in here and fight me like a man. Pig. These stupid pigs have seriously boxed me in. Finally, you're all dead. Suck a dick. Okay. So am I missing anything in that stupid tower? I don't know where else to go. I can't think of any NPCs left in the forest or the lost... But Whoa, hello! Miscreant ahead, therefore try item. Try two-handing, close-range battle. Oh, hello there. An honor to see you again. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? Um... Move path. Yes, that sounds like a thing I want. Here we go. Uh -huh. go ahead, then. The path to hides is now blocked, but now I can go forward in this way. To cast miracles. Miracle. We pr you. Miracle. Isn't it? And now, what is, well, it, <laughs> you require to cast miracles. <laughs> you Whatever. May the pal offer your soul. Okay. So. Pick up item, Rouge Water. Finally, we have some place new to go. So what's going on in here? Uh, we have a big ass chasm. Let us be careful not to fall in. Let's see. All good, all good. Whoa. Sweet stalactite, bro. Okay. We've passed through the obligatory loading zone. Hello. Um. Good day. 
don't know who you are, but believe me, B. The frailty of the weak disrupts the dark. Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dark, and you haven't the gift. Leave me alone. Okay, I guess we're done with this guy. That was not the right button. Okay, so uh, stick a pin in this guy for later, I guess. Here's a bonfire, and... We're in the Huntsman's Cups. Huntsman's Cups. Light the bonfire. Bonfire is lit. Okay, Undead Refuge. Now, this looks an awful lot like the beta area for this game. During the beta testing, people played through an area that looked an awful lot like this. You're not dead, are you? Didn't think so. Read message. Try attacking. Thanks, I did. It went well. Okay. So. If I remember the beta correctly, we can expect two new bosses in this area. Unless some things got changed around. Be wary of bug. Up. God damn it, are things gonna fall on me? Oh. It's going to be a curse from above, I guess. Oh, yikes. Oh, Christ, what is this? Look carefully and then try jumping. Oh. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be caught up in it. What's even down this way? I'm not sure this is anything I want to be a part of just yet. Maybe once I get the silver cat ring. Aha! Okay, so let's explore this new and desolate area a little bit and see what we can find. Jumping? But don't you dare. No, I don't think I can make that. I'm not going to try. Okay, what's in here? Be wary of ambush. Enemy ahead. Is there any place in this stupid game where I won't be ambushed. Yeah, look at that. That's awful. Shit! Aha, I live. What now? That went fairly well. So now... For that guy. Shooting stuff at me and I don't have the proper resist. Oh, Christ. Now I've got to contend with more or less fake doors. Come on. One, two. So that's what don't you dare means. Message. Where do I go from here? That's not a way. Nope, that's not a way at all. So what about here? So far this has been a pretty straightforward linear path through the cups. Copes the cops. Hello? Well, speaking of, here's our first split in the path. Alright, I guess I don't have to worry about you now. Oh, I guess he died. A cracked red eye orb. Hmm. 
Wonder how I get down and around to that ladder over there. Oh, this way. Alright. Where to now? Down or this way? Oh, definitely this way. Try rear and then destroy. A little unclear what that means. But whatever, I don't care. Bonfire is lit. Gonna have a rest, refill my Estus. Oops, no. Actually, let's... Huntsman's Cope. So we have the Undead Refuge and the Bridge Approach. So there's a bridge ahead, and I'm approaching it. That looks dangerous. Okay. Proceeding forward... We've got a pretty linear area here. There really haven't been any severe branching paths like there were in the Lost Bastille. Nothing quite up this way. Okay, you go down quick enough. Oh! Fire enemy. That takes care of you. There's a life gem. Not bad. Area design is okay, I guess. It reminds me a bit of the Royal Wood. Enemy left. Oh, hey, thanks for the warning. Ha. What now? A bloodstain. Large soul lost undead and a small orange burr. What the heck is a small orange burr? Temporarily boosts fire defense. That sounds pretty useful, actually. I really need to go back to the things betwixt sometime and uh, hand in my smooth and silky stones. Actually, you know what? While I have that on my mind, let's go ahead and do that now. Finally figure out what the heck these guy those guys do. All right, to the bonfire. Travel to the things betwixt. A large sickle with a round blade. The thin blade, fortified with braden steel, slices with a fine smoothness, hooks into flesh, then rips it apart to cause bleeding. That sounds very useful for PvP. Okay, back in the things betwixt, I need to find the particular ladder that leads me up to the crows. Actually, hold on. I looked something up at one point. Uh-huh. Player info... Character's class, Covenant Sin level, okay so I got some information, you guys remember that coffin I entered but previously and I had no idea what it did? I think I have an idea of what it did. Got Varangian armor on. Uh huh. It turned me into a girl. Alright, so. I need to go on gender swap back, I think. Actually, no, do I really care? I guess I don't really care that much, to be quite honest. Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. Everything's in the other direction. I don't know, if I spot the coffin while trying to get to the crows, I guess I'll hop in. That's such a weird utility. Like, who needs to change genders that quick? Light the torch. 
Nah, I think I'll pass on lighting all the torches around here. I do need to find a ladder. You're a ladder. Oh, there's the coffin over there. And here's the nest. Yo, yo, give us mood. It's you! Give us Siki! Okay. I'll leave you some smooth and silky. that skeptic spife rubbish has no value a bolt stone what's that do is that a material Imbues equipment with lightning. Interesting. Bleed stone makes equipment lacerating. I'm gonna keep leaving these stones, see what they give me. I do like their dialogue. A faint stone. Use weapon with magic. That's something I could use. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who in the hell did the voices for these two? An old whip. Whoa, this thing has hella attack. Hold on, I'm gonna look at my bastard sword. Plus five. 210. This thing's attack is 233. I'm gonna say, forget my broadsword. Please tell me I can wield the whip. Because you've made me very curious. Uh, I'm not dex enough. I am not anywhere near dex enough. I gotta upgrade my dex before I can use that thing. Well, that's a bummer. That's awesome, though. Alright, a large, smooth, and silky stone. Alright, so what do you give me for it? A divine blessing, okay. Okay, I'm done talking to you. I am run out of all my smooth and silky stuff. How do I get up there? What's even up there? I don't know if it's gonna be anything really super useful. Whatever, let's get back to the coffin real quick. Change my gender back. God, that's weird. <laughs> At least the ogres don't come back. Okay, time for some gender reassignment surgery. A green glass bottle of unknown make. Fill it with Estus at a bonfire and drink from it to restore HP. The nature of the link between the Estus flask and the bonfires that illuminate the world of the dead is entirely unknown. Okay, have I manned up? I have. Good, okay. Back to my originally assigned gender.
you. Okay, well that takes care of the silky stones and uh, the other stuff. The nether stuff. So, I guess let's return to the Huntsman's Copse and continue exploring. I remember from the beta there should be two at least two bosses there maybe even three one of whom I know how to beat roughly will still be interesting though titanite chunk used to reinforce equipment reinforces equipment up to plus nine titanite was discovered in an ancient layer of earth and is said to be a gift of the gods there are said to be only a scarce few titanite chunks in the world. Shield of the Brobble Robble. Huntsman's Cops. Left ahead, and then hurrah for shortcut. Hurrah for shortcut indeed. Or does this. is this thing pointing the other way? Left ahead and then hurrah for shortcut. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna assume the shortcut is the bonfire and not whatever's this way. Oh. You get dead. Pick up item torch. Alright, one torch will increase my time by five minutes. Ambush ahead. My message has been rated. Sweet. I was hoping someone would rate my message. It's unfortunate that they raided my message just a fraction of a second after I took, before I took damage. All right. Oh, uh, shit. You look painful. isn't good. Oh, jeez. Are these those shield-ignoring weapons I've heard about? Alright. That takes care of you. Now let's Estus. Oh. I ended up on the opposite side of the bridge. Try blocking. I tried blocking. It didn't really work out that great. Another bridge over here. Okay, so now we've hit our first actual branching path. Oh. Super shit ah, shoot. Thought I could backstab you. Ow. Damn. Ah, damn. I was having a really good run, too. Hadn't died in a while. At least I found that bonfire, so getting back isn't going to be a big pain. Maybe I should be switching back to my plus five bastard sword. No, probably not. Okay. Despair ahead. Oh! 
That's the shortcut they meant. Okay, that's useful. That's quite useful. Still despair ahead, though. Okay, so... I think I've got a pretty good plan of action. Alright. First you. Now this enemy gets to go down. Oh, you're dead now. And you dropped a torch. And another, another five minutes on the torch meter. I wonder if there are any more enemies around here that hate fire. Alright. Time to fight off you again. This won't be fun. Yeah. These things... My shield does not completely resist them. Not that way. This is the way to go. I could drop down here. See what the deal is. Gotta be careful of my surroundings, though. Uh huh. It's another one of you. Alright, this is a good, pretty good place to fight this dude. Was pretty good. Hey, that went pretty well. Took almost no damage. Ooh, a morning star and a large soul of a nameless soldier. I keep forgetting to drop off all my soul items. What's behind the hut arena hut? That's another one of you. Huh. Shoot. Shoot. Okay, managed to roll away in time. Really would like to backstab. Okay. So far, so good. Yes. And you dropped an item. You drop the soul of a nameless soldier. And you're guarding aromatic ooze. What's ahead? Visions of duo, but hurrah for eliminating one at a time. Huh. Be wary of above, in short, poison. Yes, I'm wary of above right now. Oh, wow. That is indeed poison. Life gem! Get away! Okay. So, a poison butterfly enemy ahead that I want no part of. You died easy. What do we got here? Try locking on. See ya. Okay. So I have no need or, desi or desire to tangle with the poison butterfly right now. So we're gonna go ahead and ignore that. And we've explored this direction. Liar. So our next step... We could go that way, or up in this direction. Oh, it's another hut. But how do I get in? Do I have to fall in from above or something? I 
I'll figure that out later. So I can go this way. Oh, there are my souls. Backstab. Oh shit. This guy does damage very fast. Two. Oh, nope. Drain this really quick. Took some damage there. Can do this, just gotta be careful. Man, I have done almost no rolling in this game. I really need to get on the ball with that. Small blue burr, I wonder what that protects me against. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. God, I hope that guy doesn't respawn, because he's a pain in the ass. Okay, nothing else around here. What's up this slope? So there's this slope. Be wary of ambush. Great. Be wary of tough enemy. Even greater. Be wary of enemy, enemy and then trio. How about I go the other way? Find out what item is being guarded over here. A notched whip. Interesting. Notched whip. Oh, that looks very potent. Not. So it causes bleeding damage against enemies who aren't wearing armor. That sounds really useful. Be wary of enemy and then trio. So, what dangers await me over here? Luring it out required ahead. Oh, I know where this is. I don't think I want any part of this right now. I'm gonna leave that for a bit later. I'm gonna try the other path around here. That leads up to an area with some sort of torch. Let's go back a little ways. And make our way up. So what's this way? Oh. Deadites. Okay. So I've got archers trying to ruin my shit. Oh. It's a hut I can enter. Aha. Thought you could get the drop on me. You almost did. Oh, what's this? Okay, I pulled it. Oh, hello. Enemy up. So, I've lowered a bridge of some sort. Ow. Pick up item. Don't mind if I do a flame butterfly. 
All right, so. That's a flaming something over there. Here's some uh, stools. Stools and stumps and... Huh. Sadness. It's locked! Why is it locked? Why is it locked? It's a bonfire! Sadness indeed. Well, that's weird. Okay, so we have across the bridge. And we have through the tunnel. I'm going to start with across the bridge. He's dead. Where's my phone? Hold on a second, I'm gonna look for my phone. Oh, my phone was in my pocket. Uh. Okay, so, all right, sorry for the delay there. Read message, dark spirit ahead. Try key right. Interesting. Ow. I attacked at the wrong time. Death to the dead. Oh, I tried drinking an Estus. Well, it's possible I will die here. Hoping that's not the case. Let's crack my final Estus. That's a way. Does that have a key in it? Somebody please tell me. Key ahead. By the way, left. Oh. You're a skeleton. I know what that means. I've played Dark Souls. I know what skeleton means. Oh, shitting fuck. Magic Mace and a Titanite Shark, get the fuck out! What the hell have I gotten myself into? Destroy cast. Oh! This loops all the way around. Weird. Skeleton ahead in short try stealth. Actually, I think better than stealth would be a shove. So I'm seeing messages that say key ahead, and I'm pretty sure that key is going to unlock that bonfire, which I really want. The only question is, which of these paths is going to take me to a key? Dark spirit ahead. Try key right. Okay. Key ahead, by the way, left. Huh, well this is right. Is there still a key ahead? 
duo left. Undead lockaway key. Pretty sure that's going to open up the bonfire. I'm curious what's this way. Oh, invaded by dark. Alright. Invaded by this dark spirit. Fuck! You died. Damn it, I absolutely should have gone back to the bonfire first. Shit. Uh, well, I still have the key. Now this is feeling very much like a proper Dark Souls area. Like the Royal Wood or something. Feels a lot like the Royal Wood. Here I am, still in the Huntsman's Cops. Well. Let's eliminate some enemies. <laughs> Alright, you. Alright, that's two down. Now to fight off the scythe fellow. get a backstab in. And you're dead. Alright, so this guy isn't too bad once you know how to dodge. What lies ahead? Nothing that way, I remember that much. Can I open up this? No, this isn't even locked. I have to get in there some other way. And so, I remember... Oh, that's what that was. Just poison. Just someone trying to kill me. So... Let's go up this direction. Shit. Alright, you're dead. Rouge armor. R or rogue armor. One of those two. I wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, you're dead. Enemy up. Alright, you're dead. Let's check out that armor. Rogue armor. It's lighter, but it's also worse. So, let's just keep going ahead for now. Let's get ourselves back to the bonfire. Which will be very nice. Used undead lockaway key. And now there's a bonfire. Awesome. Okay. Rusted Bonfire. Hey, Fat Johnny's online. So, let's try our luck again against the Dark Spirit. Let's ignore the skeleton area this time. Ah, shit. One and two. And that's a dead. pain. Get dead. Alright, so I've taken a little bit of damage, but it's not a big deal. I can see my health starting to drop. Up that way is apparently treasure, but be wary of ambush. 
So, I'm going to go down this way and see if I can't retrieve my souls. Alright, he's down. I wish I the symbols were a little bit more clear. What the hell is it? Green droplet. Dead. Shoot. Nice jumping. One and two. You're dead. And now for the son of a bitch in here. Alright. So, ahead of me, I'm going to find a dark spirit. And behind me, I think a low level enemy is going to emerge. Maybe? Invaded by Dark Spirit, Merciless Rod. Okay, so that's what's the deal. Alright, that went fucking awesome. So as soon as I get invaded, someone jumps from behind, and then I'm stuck on a narrow ledge. I gotta run forward. A straight sword with a very long blade. One of a few ultra great swords. As the name suggests, the Zweihander is held with two hands, but its weight is such that even wielding it in this manner requires strength, yada yada yada. Mailbreaker, you sucked. Thrusting swords are stupid. And I'm much closer now, so I don't mind the soul loss that much. Don't have to fight those stupid scythe guys again. At least not until I go backwards and try that other path. Was too quick for you. Much too quick, in fact. Try key right. So what's up here? A long path. Um. This I probably should have seen coming. Okay, well. I like the way my Estus glows in this version of the game. Okay. So is that all the ambushing enemies I'm going to find? What are you? Poison throwing knives. Worst it, maybe? This seems like a good place to praise some sun. There. Sun be praised. So I'm going to try once more against that dark spirit. And however this turns out, that'll probably be the end of the video because I'm very close to an hour now. Fucking poison archers. Such a pain in the ass. Especially when I don't know how to shield, apparently. Alright. I know there's someone in here who wants to get their kill me on. Yep, that's what I thought. Come on out. One, two. You're dead. also are going to be dead. Okay. Enemy enemies ahead. Make 
a break for us. Merciless Rowena. Oh shit! I'm taking damage from that thing. A lot of it. Fucking hell! Wow, that enemy is going to be a serious pain in the ass. This is where I learn how to parry. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break and then come right back and we're going to try our hand once again at Merciless Rowena. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a comment or subscribe for more videos in the future. I'm going to try and play through this entire game blind so you can w laugh at my failures over and over and have a lot of stuff to watch, I guess. This went downhill quickly. Anyway... So thanks everybody for watching, I will see you guys in the next episode.